Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Ant's Dungeon. Yes, I went back to the original name because it is the OG name, and I like it a lot more. On today's episode, which is the first episode in this season of Ants, and if anyone who is an Ohioan knows anything about today, it's snowing. So, beginning of Ant season, so far. But, I do have some good news. I did get one of my ant colonies out, the Campana, Camp, uh, Campana Penavancus. It's doing good, but I'm going to leave them alone for right now to recuperate from uh, Dispause. I do, too, uh, do have two other colonies at the moment that are out of Dispause. They're still in the test tubes, but I'm giving them a little time to recuperate. One queen, also Campana Penavancus. Not doing so well. She did lose her brood, so I'm hoping to either steal some from that colony or get some from fellow ant keepers in the local area and then brew boost so hopefully that works or not and then i believe i have a lacius uh neo niger or whatever the whatever the name is and they're do it's doing pretty good it does have eggs and at least two larvae that i saw kind of hard to see without a uh, magnifying glass i will show them in another episode but today is about this unboxing this box now i've already taken off the names and everything for you know privacy reasons and uh, this is actually from a person in my discord or well, not my discord but a discord that i'm in for ant keeping and stuff he makes a version of tar heel ants mini herfs and i wanted to say compare to the actual mini herfs and i plan on getting another Campo, hopefully this queen, if she does well. If not, then I'll find another one later in season and put her in this one once time comes. Um, yes, I'm going to do off camera for a second and un unbox this, you know, get everything out and we'll see what they got. Hey y'all, I got the package out of the box. As you can see, it's for my channel, Ant Dungeon. Now, this guy, he's been a long time in front of me on Discord, or at least I think he is. And I'm going to test his product and be honest. I'm not going to give any BS, but I am going to be honest. And if I like his stuff, I'll recommend him. And if you guys want to know where to get him, I will share the Discord on the next video where I have this being tested. Now I'm going to go off camera again and unwrap all of this and see what it looks like. Hello ladies and gents, back on this part. Now, I unboxed it and I got all the bubble wrap and everything off. Now I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Now on the left is the mini herf that I got from my buddy. And on the right is Tar Heels Ant's mini herf. Now obviously they're very similar. Obviously you can tell just by looking at it, there's one big difference. And that would be the size of the lower area. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have campos in this, but it'd be a little bit harder. I'm guessing this might be a home for my Laceus or maybe one of my other species. No, it just depends. Now, as far as uh, construction, that's a little bit more on the uh, side. Not saying it's bad, but it could be better. Um, the glass is a little flimsy. Now I think that partially just might be because he he bought maybe not the strongest magnets, but he did get pretty strong magnets. Sharing that there, that's not just coming right off when I try to do this. That's decently strong. I mean, I'm pulling pretty decently right there and. I don't think an ant could do any worse than that. So I say definitely for for the front part, mm, seven and a half out of ten. Now for the size of the mini herf comparison, uh, I say it's got a few millimeters or centimeters difference. Now you remember this is for ants. Uh, some of them do like a compact, but you gotta remember the smaller it is, the less long-lasting it would be for the ants. So, 
for that, I'm gonna have to go a little bit lower. I'm gonna say four and a half out of 10. Not saying it's bad, just saying it could use a little improvement. Now, as far as the outworld up here, it looks like they're essentially the essentially the same thing, like a little display case for maybe a little toy car or something. The ventilation is essentially the same, except on this one it's bigger, which uh, to me actually would be a, a pro versus the smaller one over here. Not saying that this one isn't bad for its size. Uh, Size-wise for the vents, uh, I give this one a 7 out of 10, where this one gets a 5. But how it's done, this one definitely gets an 8 out of 10, while this one gets mm, 6 and a half. Now, that's, now, buddy, I know you watch this video. I know you're going to... Now, I know this now might be saying you're critiquing me a little bit too much, but you remember, these are all good parts because then you can improve on your next ones and make them a lot like these and be a lot better. Which means people want to pay good money for your stuff, especially if it's some of the more local guys we know, you know what I'm saying? Now... I don't know when or what ants I'll be putting in here, but I'll definitely be putting some ants in here and t really giving it a test. I get to test the water tower, I get to test the ports, and definitely got to test the outworld. And that's the three most important things, besides, you know, the glass. But regardless, I can tape that or whatever to make sure it stays on if I feel like the ants are going to try to escape or something. Uh, I will probably have to either use a bunch of uh, hot glue to fill that in or have to find a cork for Tar Heel Lamp stuff to put in there. I'll find something for it. But yeah, all together, I give this compared to the normal one. If this is a 10 out of 10, this one's definitely a solid 8 out of 10 all together. I do like it. I definitely like the mo little more, you know, handmade feel. Just wish it was. It just wish it was at least the same size as this one. Like I said, buddy, it's not. A, it's not a bad thing. It just means you have room for improvement. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I will definitely be bringing more of these kind of videos in the future if you guys want to see them. If you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up and give me suggestions on stuff you think I should try. Uh, as always, please like, share, subscribe. And like I said, if, like I said earlier, if you if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and I'll try to make more of these happen. And like I always say, have a great day.